Renato. You know, I'm starting to become more confident that both of us will end up on top this coming election. You see, I just spoke to Lily before I came here. And you know, with that talk alone, I could feel that she was shaking in her heels. I could also feel that she was terrified because she never thought that we would join forces. Of course. Because she has no other ally apart from that pathetic halfwit they call the president. And as long as we have a chance at being endorsed by none other than Don Ignacio, I'm sure Lily won't stop worrying until D-Day. She'll definitely stay anxious. Curse that Arturo. Curse him and Renato. Oh, uh, what happened, madam? Well, same old story. The mansion is becoming smaller and smaller every day for the three of us. But you'll still end up winning the presidency, madam. And when that happens, well, you can kick those two out of here. Stop kissing up to me. We shouldn't rely on Don Ignacio's endorsement alone, Arturo. What do you mean? We still have to talk to the vice president as well. If Lily has the president's endorsement on her side, then it's only right to get Vice President Avellana on ours. My patience is wearing thin, Augustus. I cannot wait any longer. What's your plan now, madam? I must start forging alliances with the other government officials starting today to secure my victory in the upcoming presidential election. That way I can finally force those two out of the palace. These past couple of months, Avellian has been saying a lot of nasty things about the president. Well, he's practically become a part of the opposition, like us. Yes, you're right, Arturo. And we will use him to our advantage to speak out against Lily. Add that up to the endorsement we'll receive from Don Ignacio, <laughs> and we will definitely have this election in the back. 